how simple trading is in the morning analysis for gold i asked you that on, only sell entry is below 1654 and you can remain long and also a safer entry on gold is above 1660 and then 1664 70 7478 are the resistance level precisely it is achieved 1678 though it failed to yes the next level is 1680 which it failed to surpass but i hope you all profited at the same time us 30 and us 100 i asked you that it is trying to retrace see it has achieved close to 30 300 400 zone and likewise us 100 got the resistance at 11720 i hope you all profited now what can be expected out of us cash session whether we may see a drop again or it is going to bounce back we will see with the help of candlestick charts and indicators missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profits as i always say so do not forget to like share subscribe and comment and do press the bell icon the next update on these three will be up before the asia session tomorrow early in the day do watch it also let's start first we look into gold followed with nasdaq 100 and in the end dow jones do watch till the end do listen to it carefully and do note down the level Now see these are the early charts and on the early chart 1665 which was the resistance earlier now it is given it a stronger support with that a support it is trying to rise but at the same time on the upside the resistance at 1674 and then 1678 is coming into picture let's see if it breaks past 1680 which is a very strong resistance on the upside directional movement is bullish stochastic is at comfortable levels and it is looking bullish so far the macd is divergent and it is bullish here three candles away and it is still going strong it is still diverging rsi is looking upwards moderately bullishness is seen there with the help of rsi now look at the two hour charts on the two hour chart see previous candle was a consolidation candle it is trying to give you see flat bottom 1665 now is a very strong support so yes that is the level below which you can go short you can sell gold then 1660 you can expect and below that we may see a sharper drop at the same time on the upside once it goes past 1675 levels you can take a buy entry but remember 1678 1680 levels are going to be the resistance 1680 and then 84 this zone is going to be important beyond that we may see it 1690 again in gold directional movement on the two hour charts is bullish stochastic looking upwards indicating bullishness the macd on the two hour chart has just crossed over this is the first green candle after the crossover be cautious of this it can reverse at this point we have to be very careful here but you see it is diverging indicating that there is still little bullishness there the rsi is looking upwards indicating bullishness and if you look at the 3 hr chart see on the 3 hr charts lower highs are seen and hence you have to be very cautious still 1677 78 zone once it trades above this definitely we may see a little more bullishness then you can expect 1684 1690 levels which is going to be the next resistance directional movement is bullish here and if you look at the stochastic this is hit a bottom trying to rise from here likewise the macd was in red and it is yet again crossed over for a bullish move this is the second green candle it can turn out to be bearish again if it reverses below 1660 that is the only level below which we can see little bearishness today rsi is looking upwards that is indicative of little bullishness look at the four hr chart see first thing is 1660 then this zone at 1654 provided it a very strong resistance with that as base it is trying to rise at the same time we must not forget that it is giving you lower highs so only buy position i will recommend is beyond 1678 that is the level you can expect that we may see a little rise for 1682 1684 and then it in fact it can rise for 1690 1700 levels on the downside you can sell at 1665 expect 1660 to provide a support and below that you may see a good fall for 1656 54 and then 1650 levels stochastic looking upwards indicating little bullishness at the same time the macd uh, the directional movement is bearish here on the 4 hour charts the macd is divergent and it is still in the green side it failed to cross over i told you this in the morning that it is failed to cross over it is trading in the greener side rsi is looking upwards indicating looking bullishness indicating little bullishness now look at the daily chart see on the daily chart one must not forget the wall here at 1680 is stronger is giving it a very strong resistance when it gets once it gets past 1680 you can again expect that we may see a rise till 1684 1691 and this time it can in fact take it further higher till towards 1698 levels which is going to provide a very strong resistance 
now look at the last two candles higher lows possibly we may see lower highs and which accounts to that possibly it may try to achieve 1684 88 levels before it tries to look forward to a drop again the MACD is bearish on the daily charts stochastic was at bottom trying to look upwards here the MACD is trading bearish it is willing to converge crossover for a bullish move RSI is trading at bottom considering this uh, yes you can buy at 1675 but remember uh, there is very little scope and there is resistance at 1677-78 and hence those who are uh, willing to take a risk can go long or buy at 16.75 but expect 16.78.80 is the next race in June. In fact till 16.84 it can reverse any point of time. Beyond 16.84 we may see a further rise for 16.90 and then 16.97.98 zone can be seen. So yes you can take a long entry at 16.75 but be cautious and alert till towards 16.84 levels specifically first stronger resistance zone is at 1677-78 rather till 80 it has got very stronger resistance only and only if it trades above 1680 we can expect that it is moderately bullish then you can expect 1684 1690 levels and beyond that is also possible so take your trades accordingly on the downside you can sell gold at 1665 if you are short at 1665 expect that we may see it hitting 1660 levels and below that is also possible it can try to drop till towards 16 56 16 54 these are the two support levels below 16 54 we may see a crash again so take your positions accordingly trade with the stop loss trade with the trailing stop loss and yes do not forget to like share subscribe and comment yes if you want to learn this art of identifying trades taking right trades at right time you can join my mentorship batch the 16th batch is going to start on 3rd of October. Be a part of it. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also just support the effort out there on YouTube which I am delivering daily consistently for you all. Become a Patreon. Just a $7 contribution from you all is what I seek. Be a Patreon. Support the effort. The Patreon site link is mentioned in the channel and video description. Now let's have a look at Nasdaq 100. See Nasdaq 100 on the early charts higher lows and see these three candles again higher lows and it is getting the support at 11600 yes it can be bearish if it drops below 11600 we may again see 11550 this is the zone at 11550 540 i will be looking forward to only and only if it breaks below this you can expect that we may be looking forward to a further drop till towards 11400 and below level so yes only short entry below is uh, today at 6 11 600 levels below that you can expect a further drop rather remember 11 590 is also a good support and below that we may see 11 550 so be cautious and rather you can go short at only 11 6 uh, 11 590 levels rather i should say now look at the early charts also it is giving you lower highs indicating that there is a resistance here at 60, uh, 11, 660 levels and only if it breaks past this zone you can expect a little bullishness. So 11,600 rather I will say 11,580 to 11,680 do not trade between these 100 points. Let's be cautious. Let's exercise a little bit caution while taking a position and hence you should not trade between 11,580 to 11,680 only above 11,680 you can expect a little more bullishness then you can expect that we may see at least uh, 11,720 which is a stronger resistance and beyond that it may fly high and then the next target is towards 11,770, 11,820, 30 zone which is going to be a stronger resistance. Directional movement on the early charts is bearish. Stochastic is at high. The MACD is divergent and it is still on the buy side. See it was extremely bearish here. It, that's what I told you earlier in the day today that it is extremely bearish. It may start to converge crossover for a bullish move. It has come back to a comfortable level. From here a possible conversion can be expected. RSI trading flat but little bullish bias. Now look at the 2 hour charts here. On the 2 hour charts lower highs. Yes and lower lows. So be cautious till 11680. Yes you can buy above 11680. Expect it to rise for 11720. And then beyond that you can expect it to rise strongly. Then the next target is going to be 11770, 11840 levels. On the downside below 11,580 you can again expect 11,540 to provide a support and below that we may see a strong drop which might bring it till towards 11,450, 400. Remember 11,400 is a very strong support for NASDAQ 100. See it is diverging and bearish here on 2 hour charts. 
stochastic is at high here the macd is willing to converge and cross over for a bullish move it is still trading bearish rsi trading flat here and if you look at the three r charts now look at the three r charts see lower highs lower lows and hence the probability for it to rise till towards 11680 700 exists and beyond 11700 you can expect a little more bullishness then you can expect 11720 11770 and plus plus levels are possible on the downside yes below 11580 you can go short or you can sell nasdaq 100 it is bearish on the 3 hour charts stochastic was oversold it has come out of the oversold zone the macd is trading bearish and it is willing to converge cross over remember it is not yet crossed over it requires couple of strong green candles rsi trading flat now look at the four hour charts it has created a bottom and then we have seen a stronger rise now it is trying to give you a bullish move and see it is trying to rise here and if you connect the dots here see this is an extremely bullish formation possibly it may try to achieve if it trades but uh, if it trades beyond 11 830 840 we may see 11 920 950 levels also this is the resistance zone which it may try to achieve 11 900 so beyond 11840 we may see 11900 920 and then beyond that 11970 12000 levels are also possible but yes it has to surpass the zone first at 11720 then at 11800 830 zone very strong resistance at 11800 830 840 levels the directional movement is bearish on the four hour charts stochastic is oversold trying to come out of the oversold zone the macd is bearish it is still trading with bearishness there and the rsi is comfortable now look at the daily charts see on the daily charts i told you earlier in the day that it has seen a bottom and this is precisely reverse from the bottom of the bollinger bands yes it can further drop but this time if it drops the drop is going to be sharp enough for it to take it further down almost see yesterday if you take the candle out there 11850 to 11550 almost 300 points and this time if it drops below 11580 you can certainly expect that we may see at least 200 points even if it is uh, showing diminished bullishness at the same time look at the previous two candles higher high see i told you one thing in the morning so the pivot here is at around 11800 rather i will say 11770800 zone is going to be the strongest resistance this is going to be the pivot level which it may try to achieve and from there again a reversal can be expected if it is bearish it may try to sustain below 11780 840 zone this is going to be a stronger resistance zone directional movement is still divergent and bearish stochastic is again looking downwards here indicative of bearishness the macd is divergent and bearish here and the rsi is trading at the bottom so considering this yes you can go short or sell nasdaq 100 today 11580 below 11580 you can still expect it to get a support from 11540 and if it draws below 11540 you can certainly expect 11500 11450 in, in fact we may see it hitting till towards 11400 and 11 350 levels remember 11 400 is a very strong support for nasdaq 100 on the upside i will recommend you to buy at 11 uh, 7 rather i will say 11 680 you can buy but then 11 720 is the first resistance then 11 770 and 11 800 840 is zone you should watch out for very cautiously it can reverse any point of time till 11 840 mark out these levels 770 to 840 you have to exercise extra caution it can reverse from these levels and hence you have to trade with the trailing stop loss till the time it is below 11840 beyond that 11900 11970 12000 are the targets but i expect that it may try to achieve 11800 770 800 830 levels and reverse from there possibility and just trade with caution till then trade with the trailing stop loss now let's have a look at dow jones See US thirty on the early charts. Likewise, this is the first base at thirty one hundred. Now the next base is at thirty two hundred. I told you earlier in the day that beyond thirty two hundred, thirty two hundred, you can expect thirty four hundred levels. Precisely, it has achieved thirty four hundred. Trying to trade with a drop, there is a resistance at thirty three hundred. So now you know that I will not recommend you to take any position between thirty two hundred and thirty three hundred levels. In fact, you can consider is at thirty. 220 and 30 320 i will not recommend you to take any position directional movement is bearish stochastic is trading near to top and it is still looking bullish here 
the MACD is divergent and it is still green, it is still bullish, RSI is looking upwards and if you look at the 2 hour chart, see on the 2 hour charts lower highs, lower lows and this is an expanding bearish triangle here on the 2 hour charts indicating that possibly the next candle might take it further down then we can look forward to 3100 and 30,000 levels yes till the time it trades below 3300 possibility exists that we may see it continue to drop i will wait for the next candle possibly next candle may be a bigger enough for it to take it till towards 3100 30000 and below levels only bullishness yes if you see it trading beyond 3320 you can buy there you can expect it to rise more directional movement is bearish stock i stick is at high here and if you look at the MACD, this is willing to converge crossover for a bullish move. It is still trading bearish, RSI trading flat. And if you look at the 3 R charts, on the 3 R charts, lower highs, lower lows. Yes, remember, it can close here itself. And the next candle, the next candle, which is precisely 30 minutes after the US opening, you can expect that if that time if you see it trading above 3320 you can certainly take a long entry then 3400 3500 this is the next resistance zone at 3500 and beyond that we may see it hitting 3600 levels if you recall my morning analysis i told you possibility of it to rise till towards 3600 exists the directional movement is bearish here the stock stick was oversold now looking upwards the macd is bearish it is trying to trade parallel and RSI is near to bottom trading flat. Now look at the 4 hour charts. See importantly on the 4 hour charts. If you connect the dots from here. You will find that this is an expanding and bullish triangle. And hence you have to be very cautious of 3100 levels. And yes if you see it trading below 3100. Possibility of it to drop further exists. Then you can expect 30,000. And then below that we may see it crashing further. So in between 3200 and 3300 anyways you should not take any trade. The directional movement is bearish. The stock stick is oversold on the 4 hour charts. The MACD is bearish and the RSI is trading flat here. And if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts here. See first thing is lower highs. And second thing is it traded outside the Bollinger Bands and now getting the pullback. So you have to be very cautious here till towards 30,000. In fact, it has a tendency that if it tries to rise, first thing is you should look forward to 3,500, 600 zone. This is going to be an important resistance zone. If it trades above this, it may directly land till towards 3,800 levels, 3,900 levels, which is a very strong resistance zone. Possibly, yes, but I will expect that if it reverses from 3,500, 600, possibility of it to drop sharply exists. And below 30,000 levels, anyways, we are going to look forward to a sharper drop. And this time again, we may see at least 300, 400 points, which might take it till towards 3,800 and 3,600 levels. Be cautious. Yes, sell below 30,000. Very clear. If it, matlab, uh, I mean, if, yes, take a short entry below 3,200 anyways. But remember, till 3,100, it can reverse strongly on the upside. Till 3,100, I will consider that it is still bullish. And below 3100 possibility exists that we may see 30,000 giving it a very strong support. Below 30,000 levels it will call for a very strong drop and then you can expect 29,800, 29,600 levels today itself. On the upside if it trades beyond 30,320 you can buy there. Beyond 3320 you can expect that the next target is 3400 and then 3500 levels 3500 very strong resistance then 3570 and 600 the next strong resistance be cautious and alert of 3500 to 600 zone possibility of it to reverse from these levels exist and this is a very strong possibility out there that it may reverse from these levels so take your positions accordingly buy above 3320 sell below 30 220 in between these 100 points you should not take any trade on the downside you have to be very 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 cautious till 3100 and 30000 levels Achieving those levels on the downside, it can probably bounce back again on the upside. And hence, you have to trade with the trailing stop loss. Only bearishness, only strong bearishness is seen if it trades below 30,000 levels today. Then only I will consider that it is going to show you strong bearishness. At the same time, on the upside, you have to be cautious of 3,400, then 3,500, 600 levels. Till 3,570, 600, you have to be cautious. It can drop again from 3,600 levels. And above that, definitely it will fly for 3800-900. Remember, 
in the volatile times only stop loss is your savior no one else is going to come to safeguard you hence trade with a tra stop loss and specifically trade with a trailing stop loss trade accordingly trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss join my mentorship badge join my signals group join my patreon page and support the effort thank you very much have a great profitable trading day ahead thank